Hi, we're the Vamps, and we're locked into the 401 show. Does social media have a dark side? Social media does allow you to compare yourself a lot to other people. It's just the best bits of someone's life. No one shows the bad bits. People making comments about each other, snide comments. <laughs> Lol. Social networking has taken over our lives. We spend more time on things like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram than ever before. But in a digital world with no boundaries, you need to be careful about what you post online. Today, I'm joined in the studio by some very special guests and we are asking, does social media have a dark side? I'm Jimmy and this is The 401 Show. Joining me on The 401 Show today, it's Queen of the Red Carpet and BBC Radio 1 Extra DJ, the lovely Sarah Jane Crawford, oh, your oh, highness. Oh, I like that. Introduction. Queen of the Red Carpet, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've also got YouTuber and star of The Young Apprentice, it's Harry Hitchens. <laughs> and we have, of course, got our 401 Z. It's Ricky. Oh. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> Quite a good bunch. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank Thanks for coming down. Okay, so we kicked off this week's topic with a speaker box from Miles Dyer. Here's what he had to say about the darker side of social media. People may use it as an opportunity to brag constantly. It may perpetuate the fear of missing out on things. You may be forced to start considering the public you. What is your brand? What is your persona? Thanks, Miles Dyer. That was a good speaker box there. Okay, so before we move on, Ricky, I've got a task for you. Today, I want you to uh, like or dislike the comments made on the show during our little chat. Okay. So you can handle that. I think Look at so. this, no expense spared, you've got your own little <laughs> paddle. You've got to make sure to get it the right way around. I know, it's yeah. a very yeah. easy change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've had a huge response to Miles' video on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Lily on YouTube says, never post anything which you wouldn't want your parents to see. This has helped me a lot. Harry and Sarah Jane, you think that's good advice from Lily there? I think it is good to obviously be fairly sensible. It's not a private conversation. And whilst you wouldn't stand and shout out of a window across the town to 3,000 people and go, oh, guess what I'm wearing or whatever, or, or something a bit more private, then you obviously yeah. would use the same kind of yeah. restriction yeah, yeah, yeah. on yourself. Anyone could be following you, mm. and anyone can find those tweets mm -hmm. as well. It's quite a scary thought, actually. It is scary, so you like kind of do have to be careful. If I've got a meeting with somebody, I'll Google them, maybe find their Facebook. Exactly. Then within like half an hour, I'm like three X's back <laughs> on their <laughs> Facebook photos. <laughs> We've had um, Rainbow Skyland 82 good username, um, on Twitter. They say, I got hacked on Moshi Monsters once, and the hacker bullied my friends. Never share your password. What about that, Ricky? What do you think about that? Have you ever been hacked? I've never actually been hacked, but that's because I'm so paranoid about getting hacked. Are you? I just constantly make sure I'm always logged out like, on my phone and that. Um, I think there are quite a lot of annoying things about social media. Yeah, it definitely seems like there's constant pressure to look good. You've got a strong Instagram, Sarah Jane, like Thanks. your Instagram. It's good. I do you feel like there's a pressure there, though, for you to just constantly look amazing? Uh, well, I don't <laughs> look amazing constantly on Instagram. But social media does allow you to compare yourself a lot to other people, and I think that is never... Uh, a sort of good way to, to be anyway because you, you, it's no good comparing yourself to someone else you're the best you you can be uh -huh. it's just the best bits of someone's life no one shows the bad bits when you see someone's Instagram you shouldn't think that that's their entire life because it's not and everyone is the same we all have the same thoughts at night we all get up and worry about the same things it's, it's not like they're another superhuman mm. just because they've got more followers than you or they look better in an Instagram selfie, yeah you know? all right so we got you guys to vote about whether we should go to Birmingham or Bristol to speak to some of you guys about social media Birmingham won my hometown woo yeah. Birmingham um, <laughs> here's what those guys thought on the streets of Birmingham The best thing about social media, being able to catch up with all your long lost friends. Photo sharing. I think just keeping up with general activities, stuff like Twitter's great for that. The worst thing is about people making comments about each other, snide comments. It, it's really quite scary because you, you just don't know who people are sometimes. The lack of face to face contact. Good insights from the people of Birmingham. Um, we've been talking quite a lot about the negative side of social media, but there are positives as well. It can be really fun. Um, what would you guys say the positives are? It's a great tool for spreading positive messages. Also, if you're, I always tell people when they talk to me about, how, you know, how do we get into radio or TV? I think that it's such a good networking tool, yeah. even by just subtly following someone. I got my first job in TV through social media. 
Mine was Facebook. So it is useful for that kind of thing. Here are some celebrity tips on social media. I think that we need to be careful. I think some people tweet things without realizing the extent of damage that they can do to people's kind of self-esteem. Sometimes I might get 60 nice comments and one horrible one. I think we should be careful not to take horrible comments to heart. Protect yourself from idiots, but also protect yourself from yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, and use the same rules that you'd apply to real life, you know? You wouldn't meet a complete stranger and start showing them your personal pictures and telling them your personal thoughts. And I think there should be a barrier. Some great advice there. Okay, so well, that's it. We've had a really good chat today. Thanks, guys. Um, if you're watching the show and it's Wednesday afternoon, then come online and join us for a Twitter q and I'm going to be there answering some of your questions. If you're watching the show and it's not Wednesday afternoon, then I'm afraid you've missed out, but leave us a comment anyway, because we always love to hear your thoughts. Next week, I'm going to be chatting to someone really fit in the active sense of the word. A sports person, we're talking all about smoking and sport. You don't want to miss that. I'll see you then. Bye. All right then, guys, we've been talking about social media. We've got to do it. We've got to get a selfie. Let's go, go from a high angle.